Also joining us, Margaret Johnson, systems engineer at Microsoft, who's going to show off the memory power of OS2. And with OS2, you're really kind of starting from scratch to, to deal with this memory problem, aren't you? You bet. OS2 is the first operating system designed for PC that takes advantage of mini and mainframe abilities. Mm -hmm. It was designed from the ground up to get away from those limitations of DOS. Let's look at all these solutions that you've been proposing. Yeah. We've been restricted to the 640K right. barrier. We've had expanded memory. Right. We have EMS 3.2, EMS 4.0. Then we right. go into extended. We have the extended memory manager. We have in 15 h I mean, they're all conflicting, and they're all doing different things. Yeah. OS 2 just gives you a straight 16 megabit uh, megabyte addressable area or one gigabyte of virtual memory management. Yeah. So we have a clean operating system actually going past the 640k a barrier. A clean playing field yeah. for, from the get-go. Right, show, us, show us in an example here what the advantages would be of this access to resources that OS2 offers us. To understand the advantages, you also have to understand the other sophisticated features, and that's the priority preemptive multitasking abilities of OS2 based on threads. Yeah. And you also have to understand a different mindset. There's been a confusion with that. Um, OS2 is really ideal for those workstation environments that are working with distributed applications. A lot of data on a DB2 database, for example. We see our corporate accounts extremely interested in OS2 to address the needs of getting data off of a mainframe uh -huh. or off other servers and tying them all together in one huge sophisticated application, the executive information system, and we're going towards the information at right. your fingertips approach. Let, let's see it, Margaret. Great. Right now, I'm collecting, the scenario is I'm a product manager and my product is Fancy Pants. Okay. And I work in an environment where I have access to mainframe data and that's continually being downloaded to me in real time by this 3270 emulation program. Meanwhile, I'm creating my layout in PageMaker, which right. is quite a huge, sophisticated application. So I'm going to go ahead and take my mainframe data and put that into a file in a scenario, it's as easy as closing the application, but in reality, it's a little bit different. Uh -huh. But since we're in scenario land, <laughs> I'll go ahead and place that documentation, this 200K file, right. inside PageMaker. Now, if this had been Windows or other DOS apps, I'd be seeing an hourglass, or I'd be actually going out for getting Possibly a couple couldn't of even do it. Right. Possibly couldn't yeah. even fit the whole thing in. But with PageMaker, because of the ability of threads, and threads allowing multiple sources of execution within an application. I can do other things within PageMaker or I can go and use other OS2 applications. For example, the CPU monitor program, mm -hmm. which is actually monitoring our CPU usage, is sharing time slices with this pagination. So in reality, we're getting a brand new operating system with multitasking features for the DOS platform for those environments, for those workstations. And I would take it a step further in saying for the sophisticated user at this point, for those workstations in a local area network or wide area network environment, mm -hmm. or server applications. For example, OS2 is the foundation for our network operating system, Land Manager 2.0. Right. Now, what's the status of this version of OS2 right now, Margaret? Where is it? The current version that is shipping is OS2 1.21. Right. And that's what Land Manager sits on top uh -huh. of today.